Hello, I am Upayan, studying in class 6. To ready me this learning crisis in COVID-19 pandemic situation, the world needs new teachers, about 69 million more, if we are to meet our commitments before 2030. This is why I have chosen teachers the future of profession and join Vossum Young Teachers Award 2020 competition. This video I have dedicated to my brothers and friends in forthcoming World Teachers Day 2020. Good morning students. I am Upayan Dalma. I studied in St. Mary's Orphanage and T School. I read in class 6 section E. Today I am going to take your biology classes. In biology, today we will start with the chapter leaf. So let so first we will start with what are the two main parts of a plant. So a plant consists of two main parts. The part above the ground is called the shoot system and the plant below the ground is called the root system. Okay, so the shoot system that you see all generally, it is the fruits, leaves, branches, stems and flowers. And the root system consists of the roots. So what is a leaf? A leaf is a flat, thick and broad outgrowth of a stem. So a leaf is a flat, you can see the leaf is a flat, it's thin and broad, means the area is broad outgrowth of a stem okay the point of the stem from where a leaf arises is called a node okay so here you see that the leaf is attached to the stem and this point is called the node okay so the point okay, a leaf develops from the node means a leaf grows from the node branches also arise on the stem from the node means branches the branches you see generally also arise from the node now, a leaf is generally green in color, you see. You see that a leaf is generally green in color. Most plants are green leaves. But the shape and size of leaves vary from one plant to another. Okay, so, so, but there are some unique parts that all the leaves contain. What are the parts? Lamina or leaf bed. What is the lamina? The flat uh, this thin, flat and expanded part that you can see, thin, flat, expanded part, you can see these, oh, these flat part on which you can see all the stems, branches and all that are known as lamina, are known as lamina or leaf bed. Okay, the age of the leaf means you can see the age of the leaf, this age of the leaf is called the margin of the leaf. And the tip of the leaf is called the leaf apex. Now we will learn what is a leaf stalk or leaf. You can see this is the short cylindrical part that joins the leaf to the stem. This part is called the petiole. Some leaves do not have a petiole and directly arise from the stem. They are known as sessi or epitiolar leaves. Now we will learn what is a mid Yes, the thickened vein that passes along the center of the leaf. You can see a thickened vein is passing along the center. branches you can see arise from the leaf and they are known as veins. They are further subdivided into small parts and they are known as veinlets. These parts are known as veinlets. Okay, so the petiole, midrib, veinlets, veins, lamina help to transfer the water from the stem to the leaf and the food prepared in the leaf to the stem. If they uh, perform the process of transfer. And what is a leaf bed? You can see the slightly swollen part at the end of the petiole. This swollen part is known as the is known as the leaf base. Okay, now what is a simple leaf? A simple leaf has a single leaf bed. 
That means the leaf is like this. Single leaf. Single leaf. The blade is like this. Only. There are no lateral branches. There means there are, there are no distinct parts. So these are the two types of leaves. Now, okay, some examples of simple leaves are mango, guava, banana, etc. Okay, so now compound leaves. What are compound leaves? Compound leaves are uh, broken into many distinct parts. Okay, distinct parts like this. Like this, distinct parts. And they are not single leaflets. These distinct parts are known as leaflets. They are divided into small leaflets. So, uh, you understood the difference between compound leaves and simple leaves. One more fact about that is simple leaf consists of auxiliary buds while compound leaf doesn't come complete or consist of uh, axillary buds. What is the axil? The angle between the stem and the leaf is the leaf stalk or petiole is called the axil. And the small buds that grow or arise from the axil are known as axillary buds. So today we end till here. Let's have a recap of what we have learned today. We have learned that two main parts of a plant, the shoot system and the root system. The shoot system consists of stem, branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. The root system consists of roots. Then we learned what is a leaf uh, and the leaf arises from a dead branches also arise from the root. Uh, the uh, leaves develops from the root. The, uh, all leaves are green in color except some but all leaves differ in shape and size from each other but they have some unique parts and what are they? They are the lamina or leaf bread, leaf stalk or petiole, midrib, veins and veinlets, leaf beds. And we learned the various types of leaves that is simple leaf, compound leaf. We also learn what is an axil and what is an axil. So students, to take in this much, see you in the next video. Bye. We love you teachers, we miss you teachers, we thank you teachers for every day. We love you teachers, we miss you teachers, we thank you teachers for every day. Sache dil se dil se karte hai hum hai hum, aap ko na man teacher ji aap ko na man. सच्चे दिल से दिल से करते हैं हम हैं हम आपको नमन टीचर जी आपको नमन We love you teachers We miss you teachers We thank you teachers For every day We love you teachers We miss you teachers We thank you teachers For every day अगर हो कोई खता